All right, are you guys ready to do this? Uh, yeah, 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 yes. Welcome to Curiosity Public. My name is Dutch. My name is Jules. Penitent man, pious Dylan. Better than our sound effects. Exactly. Part. Um, all right, guys. Well, welcome to yet another episode of our ultimate spirits competition. Our quest review all. every sipping spirit on the face of the planet and subjected to our ultra hard 100 point scoring system. And in this episode, we're back to the Japanese whiskey Yoichi Ten. <laughs> What's going on, Don? Uh, okay. You like my. <laughs> <laughs> now that one I might have to bleep, Jules. Um, Alright, well, <laughs> let's look at the box. What's in the box? There's the box, single malt Yoichi, 10 years old. It's a little rare to see an age stated Yoichi, isn't it, guys? Yeah. There's some tasting little. notes that we're going to ignore really for rare. now. 45% alcohol. Let's get it out of the box here and take a look at the bottle. Bottle. <laughs> Kind of looks like all the other Nika bottles, a little bit of a different motif, but uh, look at that. That's like a village or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a distillery. It says Yoichi Malt, 10 years old, 45%. The back, you can see some literature there. I'm going to get us poured. I love, personally, the Nika screw tap, screw top. Um, <laughs> I think it's... Just give me your glasses. I don't know what's going on. All right, so let me talk about this a little bit. So the last time I think they had Yuichi uh, ten year was about ten years ago. Really? So, you know, twenty fifteen mm. or so. Um, they, I remember when they announced that they were going to drop the age statement, and it was devastating because we knew what that meant was they're going to put younger uh, blended um, whiskeys Jeez. in there, and I think it did suffer. I think the the um, flavor profile suffered, and I think it suffered against Suntory. Mm. And I don't know if Suntory actually did like this interesting, I don't know, it was like subterfuge on their part because they never, like Suntory didn't drop their age statement, even though they also announced a long time ago. I remember they are also said, we're going to drop the 10, the 12 year um, Yamazakis and 12 year Hakushus, right? And they never did. Mm. And, and then we thought, okay, now in recent recently they released all these like different um, like the distillery reserve or whatever or that a lot of non age yeah. stated releases right yeah. so they did it now but back in 2014 13 when they were talking about all this we thought this was the end of age stated Japanese whiskeys yeah. instead and, they just jacked up the price super high <laughs> right and so Nika dropped it and then uh, I think but in 2023 that. they were commemorating this kind of their the Yoichi, I think distillery became like what they call the important cultural property. Mm. And so it's like a like a heritage site. And to commemorate that they re-released the 10 year. And cool. so everybody was excited. Of course the price is very different these days, yeah. 10 years later. So um, yeah, well, so we should talk a little bit about that because this is the bottle you've probably seen if you have been a fan of Japanese whiskey in the recent times. This is the non-age stated version of the single malt Yoichi, 45%. And for members of Curiosity Private, we're going to be doing a patented, no, trademarked taste off. Taste off. Between these two bottles here. So you can, we'll give you our reaction to the difference between the non-age stated and the age stated version. Um, what do you guys think, you know, you guys remember the Nika 12 year, right? Which right. is the, basically the blended version right. between this and the, what is it, the Miyagi Kyo? Your favorite uh, mispronunciation of mine. Yeah, you How do you say it? Miyagi. No. Miyagi Kyo. <laughs> Miyagi. No. It's like Mr. Miyagi. Miyagi. No. Kyo. Exactly. Okay. So Jules is <laughs> at his finest when he does this. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, we're going to get tasting, smelling, Let's and go. scoring. We'll be right back. Dylan's already done. Really? 
<laughs> so funny. Wait, did Jules do something bad? I don't know what goes through <laughs> Jules's brain there. Simple math. But no, not he even writes that much. his numbers. He writes the numbers backwards. <laughs> that guy's eights don't even line up. Look at this. Look at that. Look, everybody, look at this. I'm sorry. We just gotta show this one. Look at just this. Just because they don't look connect. Right there. The double zero. <laughs> no, I was laughing because when he was writing this 18, he wrote the eight and he left it there for a very long time. And I was thinking, I was like, is he really giving an eight out of 20? And then later on, he goes, Boink. then puts a one. Puts the strike. Price to him. Yeah, how much now? Uh, I got it for 155 bucks. Yikes. All right, guys, we've had some time to taste. We've all scored it independently. Um, <laughs> it's been a long day. Uh, we did get a look at Jules's card early on because Dylan started laughing. I have nothing at to it. hide. Aside from that, we have not discussed our scores or looked at each other's scores at all. We're going to talk about our scores, but first, Julie here is going to tell you guys all about our scoring system. Thank you, Vetch. Uh, we do have a 100-point system across 10 categories that include aroma, flavor, body complexity, <laughs> balance, finish, uniqueness, drinkability, aesthetics, and value. We do weigh flavor at 20 points, aesthetics and value at 5 points each, and you can bet on our competition. You get a 16 up, go from bronze, silver, gold, to diamond. All right, guys. Time for our initial scores. Of course, this can change as we discuss it. You won't get our final scores until the very end of the episode. My initial score... Seventy-five. Eighty. Seventy-nine. Yeah. What? Yeah. Really? All right, well, we're okay. not that far off. No. Um, I'm ready to talk about this one. Mm -hmm. I, I had some issues, mm. but I think talking about it will help me. All right, let's kick it off with Aroma. Really love the Aroma 8. Eight. I give it an eight. Yeah, it's yeah. very nice. Huge depth to the flavors. Yeah. A lot of white grape. Rich. Richness to it. I wrote down rich white grape. Mm. And that was like, it was almost like like a distilled Chardonnay or something. You know, like it was I just, know what you're talking about. There's a there's a bright fruit component. Yeah. And then there's the peat that kind of tempers yeah, but that, everything. But that's the... The platter. The, the platter. platter. But, yeah. yeah. I, you know, I, I know that this is unfair to say, but I always thought of Nika as like the younger brother of mm. Suntory, you know, and I felt like their their whiskeys, their liquor was always kind of a step below. And again, I know that's unfair because Nika comes out with, you know, incredible products, but I, I always have trouble kind of shaking that um, bias because why didn't they release a 12 year yeah. to go head to head with you know, um, Centauri's releases, like a Yamazaki 12 year. And it's a 10 year, right? And so- You want more. <laughs> yeah, you want more. There's a little bit more and we've seen it. We know what they can do in their Nika 17s and their 21s, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I think there's room for improvement, but it is a very, very balanced and pleasant aroma. Uh, it's a really good showing, dude. Yeah, it's a good show. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, flavor. 17. I gave it a 17. Yeah. Give it an 18. I need an, I'm missing an anchor, kind of. Like everything there is really nice. It's that grape what? thing the that's on the nose. It's an anchor. It's just grape. I don't know. I, oh. I need it. Oh, you want another. I need a counterpoint to it. For me, this is an elevation oh, of the regular Yuichi. Yeah, it, it for is. Sure. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. um, and the peat is handled really well. Yeah. Like it complements it. What I like about this is how it handles the summer fruits. Mm -hmm. Like, I, you know, Japanese whiskeys, I, I, you know, we sometimes think of this as a, almost like a lighter, um, softer, more delicate flavors. And in this release, I'm getting a lot of these kind of summer bright fruits. And then you have almost like that burnt mm -hmm. um, peaty component that just kind of uh, creates a contrast. It was very pleasant. But here's the difference: like they actually stood out a lot. They're usually more subtle to me, especially on the Japanese. I mean, the regular, side, the regular, Yuichi? yeah. You know, like on the fruit come, come, come side. Other here, otherwise here, it was like really presented. I think the like, issue here is you have no choice but to compare it to with hone in just on the, the big. The Yuichi, yeah. I mean, like I, yes, I know, I know. You know, they changed the law now. Um, right. Many more places are going to be called Japanese whiskey, even though the the grain might be different, the malt, all that. 
say having said that, you ha you you have no choice but to compare it with Centauri, right? And and then the releases within. If I were to think about the flavor profile of let's say a Yamazaki or a Hakushu, I think of more depth. <laughs> Even though you have yeah, it's yeah. fruitier yeah. and and there's a touch of grain that comes through on this. Yeah. Just a touch. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. It is. And yeah. so that's why it's not an 18. And, it, and at 12 years maybe yeah. that wouldn't come through. And I agree with you on that. I think it's it's just I want a little bit more from it. And mm. maybe in in a few years they'll have that. And I, I, you know, give them room to grow. But like thinking back to the the Nika Twelve of the past, hmm. I mean, again, you've got the Sherry influence on that. I think, I think, I, you know, I don't know. I still want more from this. You're right, though. I do remember nice. it being have, having more depth than yeah. what we're getting here. Yeah, but I mean, that's that's the blend of the distilleries Distillery. and everything, and, yep. and this is just one of them. I, I get that side of it, but you also this helps you appreciate the blend yeah. more. I yeah. think too. All right, guys, let's move on to body seven. I give it an eight. I give it a seven. Mm. Yeah, it's... I think this is... I, got a nice I just want more from it. The nose is is really rich, and the palate is lacking that a little bit. Like, it's not doesn't quite envelop the way I'd like it to. Mm. I mean, I get an even coat, but I, I think I see what you mean. Like, I'm not getting, like, this velvety no. richness out of right. it. And, like, no. when you have the Yamazaki 12... Especially like the eighteen, like you really get this rich yeah, you do. coating, yeah. and yeah, but again, like this is a ten year. What do we expect? I just want a little more. So for me, yeah. the I, I, I always feel like Japanese whiskeys. Yeah, I'll drop Japanese whiskeys. Two, one suffer seven. in the body category, mm. and no, I think the seven no, the aged not, ones not don't. The aged. I, I think the seven um, reflects not just within Japanese whiskey, but kind of whiskeys overall. Mm -hmm. And I do have to compare it. I do have to compare it with all the other releases yeah. mm -hmm. beyond Japanese whiskey. This number, though, within Japanese whiskey is a very good number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Because there are it's, things oh, like, I, I, like I can, I can give you well, an example. Hang on, hang on. Let me, let me stop you before you get there. I would agree with you, except for the age-dated stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's where I draw the line. It's like the age-dated stuff typically has a better mouthfeel, and this one doesn't. And that's why it's yeah. a seven. No, you're right. But, but, I, but, not but are normal. you ever going to give a body like a ten? With the twenty one Hibiki twenty one, absolutely. No, no, no. I'm Yamazaki Nika, though, like Nika releases. The Takasuru twenty one, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the twenty one. Seventeen is sure. not bad. I mean, I don't yeah. know. I, I, but you're right. I mean, because this one it felt, it felt wanting because it's like it wasn't. All right, so we're all on the seven. Yeah. Ultimately, yeah. you dropped. So I think yeah. we, I think we were saying the same thing. Let's move on to complexity. I give it an eight. I give it an eight. I, I give really it a seven, though. I think you mm. might be right because, like, what are the other flavors? I mean, there's the fruit. There's like a well kind of formed the general grain savory. flavor that's like turned into a sweetness, like like a properly mm. aged. Malt, and then there's like you said, the peat. But like maybe the way I visualize this is like if I took um, a basket of summer fruit, mm. right, that's ripened, and if I if I put my hand and like just created a paste where it just kind of all blended together like this, right? <laughs> Keep um, doing it. And then and then I taste, I I grabbed it and I tasted it. Mm. Like you get this like mix of different flavors that you might not be able to tease out. And therein lies the issue. Like, there is complexity for sure, but because it's, I have a tough time going like, man, these are all delineated flavors. I can't tell if this is all like four things that are blended together or 10 things blended together. Mm -hmm. So I kind of ultimately came down to a seven as a compromise number. But this is not where I can I, hear you. I can't tell you like nine different uh, uh, fruits. But I think that... Think that it's interesting because this ties in, this category ties in so closely with balance. And because I feel like it's so well balanced in many ways, it's hard to almost pick out the complexity, right? It's, it's weird. Like it, I completely agree. It, That's why my score is higher on the, on the black balance. I hear you. Well, let's move to balance then. Eight. I give it an eight. Eight. Yeah. yeah I, sure. I think it's... It's I mean, deserving it's really of that, strong. and, and yeah. it, I'm. It might be yeah, a nine, maybe nine. Thinking about a nine. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I feel like it's because there are some of those youthful aspects that still do come through. That it's not any higher than an eight. It's very close, and I think that's what's what makes it hard to understand the complexity of this. Is because like because it's delicate. 
Yeah, but, but it's also it's like it's so well blended and balanced yeah. that you don't almost like you the almost flavors kind of all come flavors. together because they're yeah. all at the right levels. You know, the, it's weird. The higher age statement, I feel like what they all, what they're gonna blend in. It's like a they're gonna pick. A chorus of voices where mm-hmm. because they're all singing in the same note, but like they're all different timbres. Different but it all comes song, together right? in this nice package, and yeah. you just I don't know. Sorry, go ahead. No, I I feel like the balance. The reason why I can't be a nine or a ten is because I wish that the fruity, rich fruit flavors were accentuated during yeah. the journey. Yeah, you're right. And I feel like they're older statements, older stated. Uh, it's almost like it's almost like they balanced it well, but they aimed too low. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. If you'd aimed just a little higher and then uh, balanced it, you would have done. Yeah, you would have had a nine or a ten. It, it, it just like yeah. missed the mark just a little yeah. bit, right? It's almost like a we need a focus category. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Next category: fish. Eight. Eight. I give it a seven. I like the flavors. I like it. This trailed like off really this, quickly. It didn't for me. trail off quickly. Uh, uh, it this was, was uh, like when I bought this. Did I say pleasant water? Ple- yeah, I guess so. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what I wrote. Something It's water. pleasant. <laughs> but when I bought this, it was almost like... Uh, almost. Almost. The first thing that I noticed was the obviously the finish, right? And I said, ah, here yeah. it is again. Here it is again. Yeah. You know? You get... You, you understand... Here and back the, again. You understand the age on the finish. Right. Still low, man. No, I, I came back from, really quick uh, from uh, dropping the Mordor. Rain. I just want a little you know, bit. Scouring the Shire. Yeah. yeah. Which was missing. Which was missing. Yeah. Arguably, like, the most important aspect of those books. Was it now, though? Yes. Was it? It's the story they arc They hinted of at it. He showed know. at least two seconds. There were, like, five endings. Anyway, right. let's move on to uniqueness. Seven. I give it an eight. I gave it an eight. I gave it an eight. Ultimately, you know... I will say that these two, you know, the Centauri and Nika are the two juggernauts. Right. The fact that they're coming out with an age stated whiskey. So you're, they're, giving it, they're, you're giving it uniqueness because it's a 10 and not a 12. Points. No. Okay. Well, I, I understand that. Sh- okay. That is unique. I, I need to, okay, so this is a this is a thought experiment. Give me an alternative. The non age stated ni- uh, Yoichi. No, no, no. Flavor profile. Flavor. The, Give me an alternative. The non-aged dated Yoichi. No, you're not gonna replace this. Are we? We're gonna do it. We're gonna do a taste off. We're gonna find out. They're very similar. One's got a little more age. Look at the labels. Even look identical. I don't buy. What? You know that they, is not identical, dude. This is the same characters. <laughs> they are, dude. Because they all look okay. The comment, same. Hey guys. Okay, listen, listen. You know what? Forget it. This is what we have to fight with. Comment below yeah, the whether same, the, the same label ones. on one side is exactly the same the as the sem- other one. The, the <laughs> Japanese letter, the symbols. It's called white eyes. <laughs> you know what? Like, uh, you know what? That's I, I like this. Name. I like this. You know what? Yes. In Dutch's eyes, this is equal, right? This is all equal. I didn't say Therefore, that. Oh I am as tall as Dutch. <laughs> I don't see height. Or your eyes are as open as Dutch. <laughs> oh, that. Yeah. No, no, no. We That's can't do that. There we you can't go. Do there that. you go. But look, I mean, it's not that different. But you know why? My eyes are smaller <laughs> because it's always focused. Oh. <laughs> I can't. Well said. <laughs> For him, it's like, I, I cannot focus. <laughs> oh, I'm not trying. I'm not trying. <laughs> okay, please. Please, you know what? That has to be the intro. Yeah. intro. You don't need it. Don't, 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 don't context. Just when he's going like this, go. That has to be. That has to be the beginning, okay? We have to start this episode with that. Uh, what category are we on? Um, you need this. I gave it a seven. You guys gave it an eight. I, it. I think we're moving on. Um, um, all right. Drinkability. Eight. I give it a nine. Eight. I can drink this all day. I can drink this all day. You might be right. You know, here's my the problem. The only way I would replace this is to a drinking years. a Yamazaki 18. No, or, no, uh, you would go uh, to a Yamazaki 21. 12. 12. Or a Hak- Hakushu 12. Uh, I would. Uh, drink my Yamazaki 18. <laughs> no, but you would that, go that would 18. be a 10 for me. No, but you would go to the 12s. You would go to either of those 12s yeah, and, over and this. and a 12 would be a 9. That's yeah. why I gave it two no. points. 9, 12s. 18s, 10s. Moving on. <laughs> 
He knows no, no. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Totally trash. Aesthetics. We kind of already touched on this. I give it a three. I give it a four. I give it a four. <laughs> Apple that does trash. <laughs> hey, at least I'm consistent. <laughs> it's, it's so good. Same. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> they all look the same. Do it again. It's so good. Do it again. Oh. It's so good. It's so good. I'm going to have to cut all No. I'm going to cut it. There's going to be oh, a gosh. black box over so there. <laughs> But the problem is, people are gonna think I did this. No. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. That's that's just it. That's, that's so much better. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, well, we gotta get through this review, guys. All right, all right. Uh, all right. Value: one hundred and fifty-five dollars. Mm. One. I gave it a three. I gave it a three. What is wrong with you? Dude, H data. Uh, what are you? What are you living in? What 1997? Okay, this is 2024. I won't be able to get this any cheaper. There's a part of me that remembers buying Yamazaki 12 for 65 bucks. Yeah, but, but, you're but, you're but, thanks, but, but <laughs> you can get Yamazaki 12 or Hakushu 12 for not that much more than this. Where? <laughs> where? I know where, but <laughs> see, you can. You can pull it no, off. By the time I drive mm. over there. These people. Mm. The, oh, they will all be off the show. These people. <laughs> and purchased everything. Hmm. He's making a compelling argument. Dude, guys. Right, you know, okay, I'm gonna, let's hang on. He's making what, a compelling hey, argument. You know what? $155 for 10 year age dated. Uh, am I saying. Uh, hey, look, you know what? Am hang, I on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before, just, I'll save your breath. Now I'm thinking about oh, Old Forester 10 year. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Old Forester 10 year. There you go. Yeah, 1924. Just, 150 bucks. Right. Yeah, you just proved yourself. I'll go up uh, at least one. Right here, look. I'll go to. I will go to a three. You guys. One hundred ninety nine. No, guys, this is not a value. Think about it. Who said it was this value? Is, this is not a five. This is the category's value. I know, but yeah, it's not but a that's five. Why it's not, yeah, that's but why it's not a five. The fact that this this the twelve year Yama used to be sixty five dollars does not make be. this a value. Just used to be. Just because the twelve year Tell me what is. they should get then. That has this flavor profile and the finish. The non aged dated. It doesn't have the finish. Do you I know never that? buy. Yes, because I don't buy Yoichi. The last time I bought Yoichi was right when they dropped the age statement to see how it was. And I said, I'm not buying this again. And that was like 2016. Dude, you just said it earlier. Yeah, Old Forester still by 10. the 12. No, dude. Uh, mm. Today's economy. Yeah, my question is, do I go up one or two points? That's why you gotta no, go up at least right, one. No, this is this is right in the middle. Yeah, it is. It is neither a great value no. nor That's is it right like down. exorbitant price. Yep. Because they could have priced this higher. True. They could have gone and say, hey, you know, this is a ten-year anniversary. Seriously. We're gonna go one one seventy-nine yeah. to two hundred. Don't you hate to give them credit for that? Like Japanese whiskey has become way overpriced. Like I don't want to give them credit for selling a ten-year for one hundred and fifty-five. They don't watch the show. They don't care. <laughs> Nobody cares. I care. <laughs> I went up two points. Wow, yeah. All right. Yeah. I was, I'm That's happy reasonable with just one. for this. I mean, I, I, mean, I feel a little dirty. I want to hear our uh, members, viewers, everybody comment what you guys think about the price of this. He feels dirty. I do. I do. I understand your arguments, and that's why I went up. But like, no. Okay, before you answer, no. Okay, just automatically answer. and say this is overpriced. I it know is. it is. Yeah, we. Do. I know it is. But here's the thing. In this economy, with the prices that where they are, okay, tell me what the alternative is mm -hmm. at a lower dated. price. At a lower price, I want a one hundred dollar, ten year stated Japanese whiskey yeah. with this finish from any distiller in Japan, whatever they consider as Japanese whiskey. What are you gonna do? Give me a shochu, uh, you know, uh, whiskey. That well, tastes eyeball. like rice. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, we're done. What an argument. I gotta man. double check my score. All right, my final score after all that, 77. Jules. 79. 79. Wow. Which gives us our official Curiosity Public score for the Yoichi 10 year. 78. After all that, one point. I just feel like <laughs> if we went back to 2015 like, and how, when they were, how they were selling this, I can I can see in 2014, 13, where this would be, would this would have been like a value of four or five, 
Okay. Oh yeah. Back Japanese yeah. whiskeys are not value anymore, right? No. I, I, I look, look. It pains me when I think about buying like a, a Suntory product, and I, yeah, I don't but, buy it anymore. But here's my question: Is wouldn't you just rather? Wouldn't you encourage somebody to buy a twelve year old Scotch or even a fifteen year old Scotch that's cheaper than this to get a very similar experience as an alternative yeah. to Japanese whiskey? Yeah. I don't think so. No, it's still different enough. It's different Is enough. It? Yeah. The market it's says enough. it's different. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I, the I mean, heat I, treatment alone, dude, it's different. There's a delicateness that happens here that you don't necessarily get. Okay, but, but remember, 155 bucks. I mean, all the Highland Park that we drink. Yeah. Think about the 18 year old. It's and a different I love experience. Them and it's I love different. Those too. The 18 year old Highland Park you can get for cheaper than this, or about the same price. 18 year old. Yeah. And you guys would probably tell me a million times over that it's way better than this. Okay, but it's... So doesn't that make it a five? But you're, you're but trying But in the context to, of Scotch, that's not no, a No, but you're telling me, you're telling yeah. me like, oh, can you compare the value of That's what apple we're doing. We're and yeah. comparing yeah. all spirits here. <laughs> with on. I get it, but I want an alternative. Like if Japan had like 10 different distilleries, hmm. again, not rice... We're, we're walking that fine line. I understand. Yeah, I'm there's only that. two. Oh, yeah, I went up. We all agree. Uh, there's only two. <laughs> Let's just move on. I mean, uh, okay, so, so they're arguing over so, the no, no, same no, no, score. Wait, wait, wait. I want to. Now that we agree, let's move on. Jules, take it out. Please. I just want to uh, say, no, no, no. This is a, this is a request. This is a request. Okay. I, I would like the country of Japan, <laughs> the entire country, to support. Okay, single malt Japanese whiskey production to Doesn't go. Doesn't have to be single malt. To go True. single malt it doesn't have Japanese it. whiskey to go up against Nika and Suntory. Now I you're gonna say, well, what about Kuroshi and you Mars? Know, and Mars and well, I don't want to I don't want to mm. talk about Mars, but um, you know you have yes I get it. There are things on the total wine shelf that says Japanese whiskey, but it doesn't taste like this. Okay, if you ever buy that, and you're gonna say, hmm. This well, tell us what you guys think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up, <laughs> thumbs down. Thank Either God. way, let us know. Thank Subscribe God. for more videos from Curiosity Public. If you want to help us out, please consider joining Curiosity Private, our membership program here on YouTube and Patreon. <laughs> we are also selling t-shirts. Links in the description. And we have a podcast on all the major platforms. Wait, always, wait, stay safe, stay healthy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> stay safe, stay healthy. Stay away. Stay curious. This is like censorship, guys, because they took away still my, talking. They took my uh, marker and dry erase board. All right. Well, um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. No acknowledgement. I think you guys bullied me. Into the higher All right. Whatever. I'm Let's go to the next one for our private what? members. Private members. <laughs> Why does that sound like it's out of Kung Pao? <laughs> but then again. But then again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I remember, I know this is going to be cut because Dutch is not going to review this, but I remember the when, time? when these guys the time? when these guys went to the theater and they watched this, I think it was like for a month, everybody kept going like, I mean, oh, yeah. just the whole time. And I said, ugh, uncouth. Uncouth, where's my wine? <laughs> That's why Dylan didn't come to the movies. Exactly. <laughs> I'm waiting for a video so I can drink my wine. Okay, here's my wine. <laughs>